you are competing with the email program of your online audience. And I am too, right now. Are you on your email or are you paying attention? Well, those are there, or these are only the first few seconds. I hope you're still with me. Which takes me to my topic of today. I will talk about online presentation. I will share with you three keys that make your online pre presentations more powerful. Welcome. My name is Skipwith, Thomas Skipwith. Check out my logo. 20, well, 30 years ago, I had no clue of how to present. Uh, my heartbeat raced like crazy when I had to stand in front of a group of people and present something. I had sweaty hands, all the symptoms that, that make for a rather boring presentation. Well, fast forward 20, 30 years, and now I'm a professional trainer for presentation skills, both for offline and online presentations. In the beginning, I was skeptical whether online presentations could be any good, but now I'm convinced that they too can be improved manifold. As a matter of fact, how did I get from someone who has sweaty hands to someone who's pretty confident. You guessed it. I rehearsed, I practiced, I discussed, I read up on the topic. I discussed with my fellow members of the German Speakers Association, a sister organization of the NSA, the National Speakers Association in the US. Both great organizations to exchange ideas, to share ideas and become better at what you do. And one of the keys are or is online meetings. I wrote a little book about it. So if you want to know more about it, check it out on Amazon. I wrote it together with my friend Torsten Jekyll. Let's dive in to see what the three keys are to make more powerful presentations. The first key is the equipment. Make sure that you have the right equipment starts right with the camera. Most laptops have a cheap camera built into them. Therefore, you don't get a great picture. If that's the case for you, please do us a favor and go out there and find a camera that is, well, worth the name being a camera. Second, uh, what that the equipment is concerned, make sure that the lights are right. You need lights that light you up. Next time you're on a call, an online presentation you're watching and you see the gallery view, either in Zoom, Teams, or any other of those programs, have a look at which picture, whose picture do you like best? And then try to look the same. And one of the things is that you wanna be lit up nicely so they can see you, so they can see your facial expressions, so they can see your body language. Then the sound, make sure that your sound is good. If your laptop is not equipped to record your sound correctly, make sure you get an external microphone. Now you see many of you that have headsets that gives, makes for a great sound, which is good. Nevertheless, I prefer those who have a lapel microphone or one just like a podcaster that's sits on their desk or is mounted to a tripod, which allows for them to speak without this, well, let's say distraction of headphones and this beam here to speak. Then one big distraction can be the background. Make sure that your background looks attractive and doesn't distract. I recommend either of two options. One option is you show your real background Choose one that's not too distracting, but adds some personal touch. So it's perfectly all right to sit at home, be in your work from home. We here call it home office, but uh, you don't want people to be reading all the book titles in your bookshelf. The other option is you use a green screen and a virtual background. That then will make sharp edges around you. 
And again, with a virtual background, you can choose whatever background you like. Pick one that's not the Golden Gate Bridge because it's been used so often, it's been overused. And then lastly, but not least, for your equipment, know your software. Know which button to push. With that, I've shared the first key for more powerful online presentation. Hang on for the second one. The second key is your preparation. <laughs> yes, unfortunately it gets forgotten often. Now, one thing about preparation that I want you to consider is, is it gonna be an online presentation or is it gonna be in person, offline? Because it makes a big difference. In an in-person live presentation, I can ask the audience questions. I can have them raise their hand. I can make them do things. Whereas online, this is, well, in this particular recorded situation, not possible. In a Zoom meeting, you can, of course, have people write into the chat, and I'll come back to that in a moment. But for now, think about online or live makes a difference. Think through what are the differences that are going to be important to you. Uh, then think about who is my audience? How knowledgeable are they about my topic? Do they understand my vocabulary? Do they understand my English? Do they understand my accent? Where do they come from? How sensitive are they to politically, let's say, incorrect topics? Well, with the recent developments in social media and the news and in society, we found that certain things don't go down well with everybody anymore. So one needs to be aware of that and try to, well, steer around those or away from them. Then, ideally, you have a good structure. In preparation, think about how are you going to share those pieces of information that you have. One common way to organize your material is to tell your audience what you're going to tell them, then tell them, and the thirdly, tell them what you've told them. It's a classic. And finally, in preparation, think about whether you're gonna have any visuals at all, and if so, what are they gonna be like? What will they look like? Are you gonna use PowerPoint? Are you going to draw on a whiteboard? during your online presentation? Are you gonna set up the camera such that you can actually still use a flip chart? What are you gonna do? So these are things that I heavily recommend that you consider during your online, uh, your preparation for your online presentation. The third key to powerful online presentation is your delivery. You need to make sure that you're delivering in a way that is attractive. So you have the right equipment, you've prepared well, and now you need to consider how do I deliver excitingly, attractively? Well, one of the things that I often miss is the energy. If there's no energy, your audience will fall asleep, including part of which makes your audience pay attention is the eye contact. Now, when you are giving an online presentation, it's like in a TV studio. You don't have a live audience. Now, why do TV shows often have a live audience there? Well, because it's easier for the actors, for those on stage, to perform. However, in this case, when you're working from home and you only have you and your camera, there is no audience. Therefore, a tip I picked up from a friend of mine from the German speakers, no, from the National Speakers Association, is that you need to love your lens. Because when you, as long as you make eye contact, you're much more attractive than if you are looking away or reading your notes from your second screen, as I'm pretending to do now. No, I'm not. I'm making eye contact 90% of the time. And that's what, is, what, what a great delivery is about. Yeah, and very rarely you look somewhere else. Now, in online presentations, you can be interactive. If this wasn't recorded, I would be asking you to write things into the chat. I would be working with you on the whiteboard. 
I could be working with you on Miro, on the Zoom native whiteboard. I could be working with you with Mentimeter. All tools that are mentioned also in the little book and the short guide to online meetings. So make sure that your delivery is also something you thought about when you prepare for your presentation. So here we have it, the three keys to powerful online presentations. First, do you remember? The equipment. Second, the preparation. And third, the delivery. Now go out there and apply those tips. Also, go out there, get the book, Online Meetings, and learn more about how to give powerful online presentations. It was my privilege and pleasure to be with you today. I hope to see you soon.